Are you having issues with USB devices on the Raspberry Pi? Let's see if we can resolve it. Stick around and we'll get right to it. Roughly four or five weeks ago now, there was a new kernel that came out that introduced a bug into the Debian uh, system. And the problem occurs when you try to plug up a USB device like a GPS, a UP, uh, USB GPS unit. For the longest, we've been able to access those devices using the dev serial by ID directory. Well, recently that quit working and that's actually upset quite a few things. Not only has GPS units stopped working, but my GPS update tool has stopped working as well. Now we've posted this, myself and several others have posted the fix several times throughout the forums, but I wanted to get this video out and just walk you guys through it step by step. So let's go ahead and jump over to the computer and let me show you how easy this is to get this issue resolved. Before we see this fix, I do want to give credit to N1SPW for posting this fix over on the issue section of build Let's go ahead and take a look at exactly what's going on though. I'm going to open up a terminal window and I'm going to run LS USB and press return. And what you can see is right here, this Ublox AG Ublox uh, 7 is my GPS unit. So I know that the Pi is recognizing the GPS. Now, normally I should be able to run ls forward slash dev forward slash serial forward slash by hyphen ID and press return, and that would give me more information about the GPS unit or pretty much anything else, uh, USB device that you plug in. Unfortunately, there is a bug in the current uh, distribution of Debian Linux, which is affecting the Raspberry Pi. This is not very hard to fix though. Let me show you guys exactly how to fix it. First, we'll go ahead and clear the screen, and then we're going to move to uh, cd forward slash user forward slash lib forward slash udev forward slash rules hyphen, I'm sorry, rules dot d. Let's go ahead and press return. Now, we need to make a backup of the current rule just in case something doesn't go as expected. So we'll do that with sudo space move 60 hyphen serial.rules, and we're going to move that, let's see, serial.rules.backup. So we'll go ahead and press return, and now we've got a good backup of our original rule file, just in case we need to revert, uh, revert back to it. So now let's go ahead and make the modifications that we need. We want to go and do sudo space nano space uh, 60 hyphen serial dot rules. Go ahead and press return, and that is going to bring you into an empty file because we moved that out of the way instead of just copying it. Now, I'm going to go back to the web browser so that I can find all of the data that we need to get this working. And I will leave a link to this page down in the description below so it's easy for you guys to find. But all we're going to do is we're going to highlight everything on that page and I'm going to press Control C to copy it. Back in the terminal, I'm going to right click and click Paste. That'll put all of that information that we just copied into this new 60-serial.rules file. Once we've got that there, let's press Control S to save it and Control X to escape. Once we've done that, we just need to reboot. So let's go ahead and run the reboot now. Once the Pi has had a chance to reboot, let's run that lsusb command again. And we can see that the GPS is still attached. Now let's run the other command. ls space forward slash dev forward slash serial forward slash by hyphen ID. If we press return this time, you'll see that we get the expected data that we've always gotten in the past. If we run that same command again, but this time use ls space hyphen l, it will show us exactly where 
the uh, GPS attached to, which in this case is TTY ACM0. Hopefully this will get your issue resolved as well if this is something you've run into. If you found today's information helpful, be sure to give us a thumbs up before you head off. We will see you guys on the next one. Until then, 7-3.